I liked this part where you talked about Megan lived in fear of being exploited by her father and could no longer trust him. This is in regards to the wedding and, and the letter and all of this stuff. Um, do, do you think that the Cambridges and Prince Charles feel the same way about Harry and Meghan at this point, that they live in fear of being exploited by them and can no longer trust them? It just feels like after the Oprah interview, it, there's quite a ways to go to gain trust back. It just felt like so much was exposed there. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the, the subtitle of the book is The Unmasking of the Monarchy. I mean, uh, uh, Harry accusing his father of being trapped, of uh, accusing William of being trapped. And that doesn't say much about the central uh, 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 institution in British life, that if the head, the apex of that is stultifying and, 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 uh, 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 and doesn't give uh, you the chance to be yourself. Um, I, th I think that it works both sides. I mean, Harry didn't want to write down what he wanted in terms of uh, rearranging his and Meghan's life inside the royal family because he, everything that had been leaked in the past. And sure enough, when he uh, did write it down and, put, and addressed it as a memo uh, to his father, Sure enough, it was leaked in the in a, in a tabloid newspaper. So the, there was a lack of trust on both sides, and certainly, I mean, Harry says some pretty, uh, and Meghan have said some pretty devastating things. And there's a, a, a certainly about um, the, the racial um, makeup of of, uh, of Archie, and I do find it, uh, it it will take some time, I think, for them to smooth over the cracks because uh, it, it's not just a crack, it's a chasm. And certainly uh, Meghan and Harry have it's taken, you know, a, a claw hammer to the monarchy. Yeah. <laughs> and really giving it a bashing. Yeah.